hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this kinematic typographic effect inside of after effects without using any plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 1080, frame rate is 30, duration is 2 minutes, and for the color I'll choose black color. Hit OK. Now let's create another com uh, composition. I'll I'll call it as Text Strip. And for the height I'll choose 100. Hit OK. Press Ctrl Y on keyboard. I'll call it as BG. Hit OK. Lock this layer. Create text. I'll call it as for the color. I'll choose black color and the font. I'll choose Nixa board. I don't want any gap between these two letters, so I'll make it zero. I'll call it as kinetic typo. Sorry, graphy hit control A, decrease the font size. Let's face a little bit. Select this layer, press control alt home, align it to the center. Hit control A, control C, hit tap two times and hit control V. Again, press control alt home. Align this to the center. So this is our text. Now, if you want, then you can add this. Hit tap two times. After that, hit tap two times, and again add this. I think this one is okay. Again, press Ctrl Alt Home and try to align this to the center. Hit. Create extra space. Again, Ctrl Alt Home and align it to the center. You are free to type anything you want, but for now, I'll type only this. Hit Ctrl T and hide this text layer. What I'll do is I'll hit P on keyboard. Press P for positioning. Go to 4 seconds and move this all up to here. Now open this layer, unhide this and parent this with this layer. So we'll get something like this. Now press Alt click on this position and type loop expression. Loop out, hit OK. So we'll get something like this. Now go to the main animation com and drag this text strip over here you'll get something like this go to the windows animation composer anchor point mover enable it hit ctrl d first and choose this pointer so we'll get our anchor point over here now choose moving tool by holding ctrl move this over here so it will align it with this one again hit ctrl d Move it over here by holding control over here. Now hit control D, drag this downwards, and for the anchor point, I'll choose up to over here by holding control. Move this over here. Now this is the middle one, so I'll type it middle just like this. Just like this. Now this this one, I'll parent this uppermost layer with the second one. I'll parent this second layer to this middle one and I'll parent this fourth layer to this middle one. Press F4 on keyboard. Press F4 on keyboard. Select all these layers and make them into 3D. Choose this layer. Hit R on keyboard. On the X axis, I'll make it minus 90. Select this layer. Press R on keyboard. 
on x axis it is minus 90 select this lower layer it is r for rotation and on the x axis i will make it plus 90 so we'll get something like this now what we'll do is in this camera option i'll go to this left one now right click on this space new null object make it into 3d and move this null object in middle of this square now what we will do is we will parent our middle layer to this null object so if you rotate this null object on the x axis if i go to my active camera we will get animation like this now what we will do is we will hold click on this x rotation i will type time star into 100 so we will get rotation animation on this one now there is another thing we will do is we will select this and this layer go to the effect and presets panel apply tint effect on it and swap these colors select this layer swap these colors and again select this layer and swap these colors here also so as we can see we will get animation like this select this text strip right click on it go to the time time reverse layer also select this one time 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 reverse layer so we will get something like this now select this layers hit ctrl shift c it i'll call it as q text hit ok go inside that cube text hit ctrl k and for the height i choose 200 so we get something like this now go to this main animation comb rotate this comb instead of that what we will do is we will go to our starting keyframe press ctrl y on keyboard to create a solid bg hit ok and drag it over here hide this select this cube and apply mesh warp effect i don't want this much column so i will choose only three and zero rows select this handles move it over here select this handles and move it over here you are free to adjust whatever you want now right for now i will choose something like this if you want then you can increase the columns after that and for the quality you can increase the quality I will make it 20 so we get something like this press R for rotation property as for scaling property we get something like this if I choose full preview we will get something like this hit ctrl D press R for rotation Press S for scaling options and move it over here. Select the second and hit Ctrl D. Choose this third layer. Press R for rotation. Move it over here. Uh, adjust this randomly. Adjust it over here. Hit Ctrl D. Press R for rotation. Adjust this over here. Press Ctrl D. R for rotation do something like this drag it down also drag this and also select this uppermost layer hit ctrl D R for rotation and move it over here press V instead of full I'll choose quarter so we will get something like this Q 
those order adjust this And if you want to change the color of this animations, all you need to do is just create one new adjustment layer over here and apply tint effect on it and swipe these colors. So you will get something like this. Instead of black, you can choose any color you want. So yeah, this is our final animation. Thank you for watching this tutorial guys. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe my channel. Until then, stay tuned.